In this Javi tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get maximum engagement and maximum follow-back ratio from every single person that you guys follow. To do this, what I'm going to be doing is completely explaining the follow sources section in Javi so you guys understand it completely and therefore you are able to decide the best way to choose your follow sources and maximize your growth. What is going on guys, the Cash Creator is back with another video for you guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the follow sources section within the follow tool inside Javi to the maximum effect guys, alright? So as you can see, here is the social profile section, all of these accounts are trial accounts that I'm using to show you guys in my videos. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the tools section over here by clicking this and then all you have to do is as you can see overall first of all here I'm successfully doing the follow and unfollow method none of my accounts are getting blocked anymore and if you want to learn how to get away from the action blocks and all the blocks in Javi please see the link in the description okay and that will explain to you guys how to get rid of the API block errors within Javi anyway to continue let's go ahead and show you guys the follow sources section and how to optimize it to the maximum effect what you want to do first of all is you want to click on this eye over here okay so the pets page is an account I have in the pets niche I post pictures of cute pets and I'm going to be using it as an example for you guys just click on this eye over here and it will take you straight to the follow section as you can see over here here are the settings for the follow section I'm not going to explain this to you guys because in another video that I've linked in the description I explain all the Javi settings for the Instagram and I'm not going to go through that today because today I'm only going through the follow sources. As you can see over here, here are the user filters in the settings and this basically describes the people that you are going to be following. So for example, you want the people you follow to have a profile image or for example, make sure that they've posted within the last 90 days for example. Okay, so if you click with this one over here, you can make sure that they're active by saying they've posted within the last 90 days. Okay, anyway. Um, that's besides the point. Here is the follow sources section and this is crucial to making sure you have a good follow back ratio and that you have high engagement for all of your accounts. Okay, so first things first, what follow sources is, is basically the sources where you follow from. So for example, um, before I can follow any accounts, I need to follow sources section that Javi will use to start following people from. All right, guys? Um, and the selection rank over here is basically how important it is. So if I have a number of these ticked, for example, if I have this ticked, follow users by hashtag search, and I also have this ticked, um, as you can see, the selection rank is higher for this one, it's 50, and for this one, it's lower. So that means every single, you know, there'll be 50 different follows by hashtag search, before there's 10 for you know searching by you you know username or bio okay so the more the higher the number is over here it makes it more likely for Javi to use um, you know when it decides to follow someone okay and for example if you scroll down I have this at 500 it means that this is the most likely um, you know when Javi is looking for someone to follow it's going to use this one follow followers of a target account it's more likely because the number is higher all right guys now that that's out of the way let me start explaining so follow users by hashtag search what is it all you have to do is you have to type a keyword over here um okay a hashtag for example so for my pets page i could write hashtag cute pets okay so you just find a popular hashtag um and then someone that interacts with that hashtag for example someone that uses that hashtag or likes posts with that hashtag you know or you know puts that hashtag in their comments section of their post for example um, you will be following that person okay um, I don't really like to use this one because um, some people they don't really always engage with the content they just you know spam different hashtags just for the sake of it and they have a huge paragraph of hashtags just to you know try and get you know more people to look at their posts so I don't always use this one okay um, the next one over here is followed by username slash full name slash bio okay so I don't really follow by username or full name however you could definitely follow people by bio I think this one's pretty cool for example if you're looking you know for other people with pets pages 
um, you know you could search for something in their bio so you know pets for example in their bio um, and then you know that they're a pets page that they might be interested in the same content as you or for example a lot of human beings you know a lot of people like me and you they put their location in their bio so for example if you have a sweet shop you know um, in Michigan or you know in the UK for example in Leeds or London you know or anywhere you could search by their bio so you could search by location um, and then follow people from that location because you know that they might be interested in your sweet shop or your you know fast food joint for example all right guys so that's a use for this one um here is one that is quite popular this one i do use this quite a lot so follow followers of target accounts so for example in my pets page what i do is i find a similar pets page um that also posts content about pets okay and then i can follow their followers so i already know that those people are interested in that account because they're already following the target account so I'm following them too through Javi and then it's more likely for me to get a follow because I already know they're interested in that niche this is a big one for you if you want to really increase your follow back ratio definitely start using this one all you have to do is you have to input the account name so for example cutepets.x is a um, is a popular Instagram account um, but as you can see over here it has 98k followers um, okay and I can start following that accounts followers alright this is a really big one and I do recommend you to use this one okay um, another one over here is follow followers of your own followers so people are already following me um, Javi uses this to follow the people that the followers of the people that are following me alright guys um, I don't really use this but a reason that you could use this is for example you know if you're following my account and then I follow your follower you know it, it will show to them that hey this account this pets page is already followed by you know so and so our mutual friend so it may make you more likely to give me a follow it may make that person more likely to give me a follow because you're already following me you understand so it you know it, it kind of creates trust as someone that they know is already following you so it creates trust and it has a higher chance of increasing your follow back ratio guys all right so that's a time that you can use this one all right um this one over here follow followings of your own followers i don't really use this one at all because for example a lot of people follow famous people like kim kardashian or sports stars okay so if i'm following the same people that they're following you know famous people are unlikely to follow my account for example so it's going to decrease your follow back ratio so i do not recommend this one okay um follow specific users you know there's not really a point of this you know the only point is if you want to specifically follow someone for example maybe to make your account look less suspicious you follow famous accounts so it looks like it's just a run by a normal human being and not someone using automation um here's one follow using geolocation okay um this is another one that is quite important for people like with a shop for example a sweet shop in a certain area you can interact it allows you to interact with people local to your area so for example um i have a you know a sweet shop in leeds which is a city in england okay i can you know select location such as leeds for example or i don't know um you know a, a flower shop in leeds okay so look here leeds or whatever you just put lead city center or anywhere so you're basically following people um that are local to your area okay that's all you have to do guys okay um and you can add that valid location okay you just select that location here and then you can follow people that interact with that so for example if i make a post with um you know i post a picture and it says you know that i was in lead city center or new york city for example then you know your account might follow me because it's following by geolocation and it knows I'm nearby so I might live in the area so I might be interested in your pet shop or your sweet shop or your fast food joint for example alright guys that's basically how you do that okay that's what that follow sources section does so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scroll down and show you this one follow users that interact with posts on targeted accounts now this one is absolutely crucial for you guys if you want to increase your engagement because you are following people that are interacting with your targeted accounts 
So what you want to do is you want to, you know, find target accounts that have high engagement. A lot of people comment on it. A lot of people like on it. And then you want to follow those people, guys. All right. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that later on in the video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to pick these accounts. But before I do that, I'm just going to go through the rest of these, um, you know, the rest of these sections. OK, I'm going to show you how to find the best account to, to use as a follow source later on. But anyway, this is absolutely crucial. All you have to do is you have to find an account that has high engagement, a lot of likes and comments and post its username over here. So like I said, qpetsop.x or whatever, whichever account it is. OK, all you have to do is you input the account details here and press add. OK, you make sure likes and comments is clicked and then it will be following. Jarvi will be following people that interact with posts on this account. Um, also, what you want to do is you want to put a time, for example, so um, so followers who commented in the last, you know, 300 minutes, for example. OK, so anyone who comments in the last 300 minutes on a certain post, it will follow them. All right, guys. Um, another one over here. Follow users that interacted with posts on targeted accounts. This is the same thing as the previous one, but it's for posts. So this one is about people that interact on targeted accounts. OK, with posts on target accounts. So any account, whenever they post a new post, whoever interacts with that account, you follow them. The one over here is for certain posts. So you add a link to a certain post, for example, add a lot of engagement and then um, Jarvi will be following anyone who posted on that account. So what you could do is find a viral video and post the link here and then, um, you know, you'll be following people in that niche who commented on that viral video. OK. So over here we have the follow users that tag specific users. If you tick this box, you can basically follow people that are tagging other users. Again, this is not one that I use very much um, as it's very, very vague. So I don't recommend this. All right, guys. Um, again, here on this one, follow suggested users. I wouldn't recommend this as well because, you know, in the suggested users section, there's a lot of people. They are not guaranteed to follow you back. They probably maybe aren't interested in your niche. So I don't recommend using that as well. People that are following your story, these are most likely people that are already following you anyway. So again, I would not use this one and then follow from the explore page. Um, I don't use this one much either. So I wouldn't recommend these ones at the bottom. Um, they are not that good for engagement. Like I said, the most important ones are definitely this one, for example, follow users that interacted with posts on target accounts. So you definitely want this one ticked anyone who comments or likes on a on a different on a post from one of the accounts that are your target accounts you want to be following them because you know that they offer high engagement because when they follow you if they follow you they'll be commenting and liking on your posts as well especially if it's in the same niche as the target account um, or you want to be using this one follow followers of target accounts just find an account in the similar niche and start following those people all right guys so that's basically the follow sources section explained now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to find and pick the best account for you guys to use as your target account. What you want to do is you want to go on the Internet and you want to go on a website called Heapsy. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below. It's basically a free app that you guys can have. OK, and then it helps you to decide people that you want to be following. OK, so I'm going to leave a link in the description. And anyway, here I am in Heapsy. OK, guys, um, what this basically is, is it allows you to see posts in certain niches, people in certain niches, influence in certain niches, and it shows their engagement. So what you're going to be looking for is target accounts with, I'd say, between 10K followers to around 100K followers. If it's too many followers, more than 100K, you're unlikely to get as great of a follow back ratio as you wanted to. All right, guys. Um, so find an account in the 10 to 100K niche and then high engagement. All right. So as you can see, I've already typed pets, but I'm going to type it again for you guys. OK, because um, I'm showing you guys this tutorial for the pets niche. So now that I've typed it, it shows all these different influencers in the pets niche. OK, these guys regularly post pictures of their pets. OK, so for example, this one. Hanale the Golden is basically an account of this beautiful, beautiful dog, as you can see. Um, and 
it has 170k followers which may be a bit too many however the engagement is epic look at that 26.4 percent engagement so 26 percent point four percent of their followers approximately like or engage with their content which is absolutely amazing all right so compare it to this guy for example he's only got less than one percent engagement so you don't want to be using him as a target account you definitely want to be using this so all you have to do is you have to take that username go back into Javi and then input it in okay and then follow people that engage with hey Hanalei's okay with that account hey Hanalei's um, stuff so all you have to do is go hey Hanalei okay and then add that in okay and that's all you guys have to do um, and as you can see it's added in so I'm gonna be following people that engage with that person's content okay so that's basically how it works guys um, that's how you can find the best follow sources you find people with high engagement that will be able to follow you and like your posts and then comment on your posts okay so that is basically the end of the video I do hope you guys enjoyed it I do hope you learned a lot and I do hope that you are able to now use the follow sources tool to the maximum effect and increase your follow source follows um, simply astronomically and get as much growth as you guys deserve for all of your accounts thank you guys for watching this is the cash creator signing out Peace out, guys. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and a subscription. If you do have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Let's try and get a community going that discusses Javi and helps each other to grow our accounts. Peace out.